Hi everyone. So in today's video, I will show you how to run the chi square test in Statistica. But first, we look to know what is the chi square test. The chi square test is the statistical hypothesis test that is valid to perform when the test statistics is chi square distributed and there's no hypothesis. So the Persian chi square test is used to determine whether there is a statistical significant difference between the expected frequencies and the observed frequencies in one or more categories of a contingency table. So what is the contingency table look like? The contingency table, or we can call it a cross-tab table, is a type of table in a matrix format that displays a multivariate frequency distribution of the variables. So we have columns, and row, we have a count here. So n11 is mean that column one, row one. n12, row two, column two. I'm uh, sorry, n12, row one, column two. Row one, column c. Row two, column one. Row two, column two. Row two, column c etc. And the condition required for a valid chi-square test for the contingency table are twofold. First, the observed counts are a random sample from a population of interest. That means the n here are randomly chosen from a population. And the second condition is the sample size will be large enough so that for every cell the estimate expected cow will be equal to five or more suppose a large brokerage firm want to determine whether the service is provided to affluent clients differs from the service is provided to a low income clients so a sample of 500 clients is selected randomly from a population and they are asked to raise his or her broker. So the results are shown in the following table. So we have in total 500 cases or 500 clients are selected from the database from our, our firms. We have three levels of broker rating, outstanding, average, poor. We have three categories of income under 30,000. From 30 to 60,000 and greater than 60,000 USD, and it is a count the frequencies, the observed frequencies. But we need when we run the analysis, we have to convert this table into a raw data so that we can run the analysis. So I will show you how to to code this in statistics. You no, know? so here how I code the, this table. This raw data comes from this table. For example, we have outstanding under 30,000 USD. So, one one row one club one is 48 cases. Rating is the row data. Income is the column data. So, row one column one we call one one, and we have 48 cases. 48 cases, one one. Doing the same procedure, we have 64 observes for outstanding and income from 30,000 to 60,000. So one, two, row one, column two, 46 counts. One, two, 46 counts. We add up and stop at uh, row number 112. Doing the same way, we can call all of these numbers in this table, on this consistency table. Doing the same procedure, we can do it. So in total, we have 500 observations. How, how to run it in Statistica? First, we go to Statistic, Basic Statistic of Tables. We choose Tables and banner. Okay. We specify table by select variables. 
with your rating as a, in a list one rating for list two we choose income level press enter we plus ok we go to the cross tabulation table result and we choose option we take to choose expected frequencies and pression and maximum likelihood chi square as when we can see the summary so the this summary table is the expected frequency for this data set and we can see here the chi square person chi square has equal to 4.526 and equal freedom is equal to 4 p value is 0 0.3339 and here all the number highlight in red here are the frequency uh, are the expected frequency we want that all of these numbers are in larger than 5 and they are lower than 5 so that means the sky square approximation for the test statistic is appropriate. We sort of we satisfy the two conditions for a valid sky square test. And you may remember over here, we first we satisfy two conditions required for a valid sky square test. Now we come back and get the. Uh, Detailed two-way table. This is the mail result from our chi square test. We click on that. The person's chi square test here we can see is 4.53. The maximum chi square test is a little bit lower, 4.41. We have four degree of freedom. We have p value. Why we have degree of freedom equal four here? Because rating here at the, uh, the row income is a column so degree of freedom equal the degree of freedom equal row minus one multiply columns minus one and we have three minus one two equal column column minus one two so we have four degree of freedom the chi square test here is yeah, exactly the same oh, no. 4.526 is the same with the summary table since the chi square value is less than the critical value so we fail to reject the null hypothesis Giving the null hypothesis is the rating of a client gives his or her broker is independent of client's income. We fail to reject it, so we will accept the null hypothesis. So that means the ratings, broker rating is independent from client's income. So there's no difference between row and column data. Why we know that the chi square value is less than the critical value? We can check it here. We go to statistic, probability calculator, distribution, we choose chi square. Here we have degree of freedom equal 4. The p value is set to 0 0.05. We check the, this box. So the critical value of 4 degree of freedom and p value is equal to 0 0.05 is equal to 9.48 so compared to the 4.52 the person t square value is less than the critical value so we reject the no we fail to reject the no hypothesis that means the rating of a client give his or her broker is independent of a client's income yeah, so that is how to run or how to conduct a chi-square test in Statistica. Thank you.